All right, good morning. Welcome to another vlog. I'm actually out in Bellevue right now. I'm here right when the mall opens. And my bronzer is looking real intense on camera. I don't know why it doesn't look like that in real life. But I'm trying the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, which I haven't tried on my dry skin like I mentioned in that foundation. What video was that? The best sellers on Sephora. But I'm wearing that right now and then I just have on the Bare Minerals Faux Tan Bronzer. If I'm going to a mall, I always get there first thing in the morning so that hopefully it is empty. That is like the ideal mall shopping time who's with me. But my mission today is to try and find a white dress for, I'm going to this Project Beauty Share fundraiser thing in about a month or like a few weeks call it evening on blanc and you have to wear like all white so i need to find a dress for that i do have one dress i can wear if i can't find one as like a backup but i just want to see if they have any good white dresses and then i also want to check out the fabletic store which is super exciting that they have an actual store here in the mall and yeah just romp around see what else they got then i need to run some errands around here i gotta go grocery shopping i'm probably just gonna go to the trader joe's in bellevue I need to go to the p.o box and then i'm gonna head back and hopefully film a second video today that's the plan stan wish me luck let's go do some shopping shall we Okay, now I'm in loft. I found one white dress and then a ton of other stuff to try on. They're having like a 60% off sale. So this is 90, but then 60% off. So I'm gonna try this for that event. And then I have a bunch of like jeans and stuff to try on, random shirts. So these are their high-waisted skinny. I think I need one size up. They're like a little bit cutting off my circulation, but they're cute. It bothers me a little bit when jeans do that in the knee. You know what I mean? But I do really like this shirt. I think I'm gonna get this shirt. I think it's like way marked down. Okay, here's the 27. I think I might get these. They're really soft. Like, I feel like I can move in them. Okay. Yeah, this is the no. Okay, I have found the store. So cute. I have like leggings in this color that I kind of want to find a top to match because I never really know what to wear with it besides like black. Ooh, that's cute. Like a tight kind of zip up. Apparently, they're all about the camo right now. Oh, look at the back on these. That's really cute. I think I showed this on Instagram, but this is super cute. I gave my mom this. It's like shorts on the back and then like a skirt on the front. So in their leggings, I'm usually a size small. But sometimes in the seamless ones, I size up because they're really tight. And you can get the same deals in store that you do online if you're a VIP. So all leggings, you can get two for 24, which is amazing. And you can get 30 to 50% off everything in store too if you shop and you're a VIP. Ooh, I really like that. Got some leopard neon happening. I'm all about that. I feel like those neon kind of coral leggings look, look really cute with this top. Thank you, that'd be great. So if you've never bought Fabletics before, my all-time favorite leggings are the Slar High-Waisted Power Hold. They are amazing. I'm actually wearing, I'm wearing them right now, I'll show you guys. These are the Slar Power Hold. I wear a size small short, and the shorts you have to order online, but you can always come in and try on sizes and see what you think you might be in the store, but they just are so nice and thick and just like suck you in. So these are my go-tos I always talk about. This one I haven't seen online. That's super cute, I might try that on. Helping you can see what you have and what size. Oh, and we know cool. like to ask you like what you thought about them or like, oh I think I know a pant will go with that or whatever is great. And then of course Oh me. that's awesome. Oh you creep. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like inside the room Whoa. it shows you what you have and then you can always um, request a different size or a different color if you'd like. So say you want an extra small in that and then try this on. It actually like bings me and tells Whoa. me to bring you an extra small. That's awesome. Or if you don't want a size and you just want to ask me a question, you can mm -hmm. just need help and then say, I need some help. That is so cool. I've never seen that in a dressing room. Okay, so I'm gonna try all this stuff on. Thank you to Fabletics for sponsoring a portion of today's video, but if you guys haven't heard of Fabletics before, they're an affordable athletic wear. They have such cute stuff. I love them because one, their leggings are freaking the best. Like you guys know I have like 30 pairs of them, literally. But also they change out their styles pretty much every month, so there's always something new. Okay, so here's the first outfit. These are the Mila Pocket Capris. And I do have a pair of these. I think I have them in black and it's really nice because you can slip your phone in here like my iPhone Plus fits on the side. And then this jacket is the Delta Seamless. This feels so nice and you have like the holes so it's breathable on the side. I'm here for this shirt. 
So if you guys want to check out Fabletics, I'll have the link down in the description box right at the top. You can get the 2 for 24 legging deal, and if you want to become a VIP, you can. You can skip any month. It's super easy. There's no like commitments or anything, and you can get the 2 for 24 deal. So I'll have all that down below in the description box, but if you have been in the market for some new leggings and just cute, whoa, what's happening camera? Cute athletic wear, definitely check them out. Okay, goodbye, I guess. I'm like in the dark. Okay, so I was in the mall a little bit longer than expected. It's now 12.30. I uh, got quite a bit of stuff, mostly like jeans because, I don't know, none of my jeans lately have been feeling like super comfortable. So I actually got a couple pairs from Abercrombie. Their jeans were half off and these fit really cute. They don't have like any mousses or anything on them, you know? They're just like stretchy, skinny jeans. And I'm probably gonna cut them. I got the low rise jean legging in short, but it's still a little bit long. So I'm probably gonna cut them because that like frayed look on the bottom is like in right now anyways. And if you are short, you know that low rise on other people is like perfect mid rise or even high rise if you're short. So they actually like still go above my belly button, which is nice. And I got them on sale for like $34. And then I got a couple cute, just like basic t-shirts in Zara, really pretty nude color. This was $9.90. And I thought it would look really cute with these earrings, or I mean, I could wear these with anything. They're like super sparkly gold. And then you guys saw those two things I got from Loft. I just got that pink shirt and jeans. So I got some good deals. Everything was like majorly marked down. But now I think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's first maybe and then run the rest of the errands i'm trying this new thing where i'm actually making grocery lists so my boyfriend is the chef not me so he sent me like a list of things to pick up and he's gonna cook so it's like i'm down so i literally have a list of groceries if i don't have to cook sign me up so let's go trader joe's it up Okay, so I figured I would just super quickly show you guys a few things from Trader Joe's. Most of it is like veggies and stuff, but I want to show a few things that I really like or that I'm just trying for the first time. But this, I usually get. This is so good. This flatbread black truffle mushroom. This is amazing. Uh, I want to try this. I haven't tried this granola yet, but I love coconut. So it's toasted coconut granola. I love the packaging from Trader Joe's. Something about it. Um, what else? I got an exciting spaghetti sauce, which I don't know. Oh, here it is. So this I hadn't seen before, creamy pink primavera pasta sauce. It says it has tomato, beet, cauliflower, chickpea, and a touch of citrus. So I'm excited to try this. Cauliflower gnocchi, the key to this is to not follow the instructions and just put it straight in the pan. And I think it's best if you leave it out for like five minutes first before you put it in the pan. We usually just put like mushrooms, a little bit of spinach, garlic salt, spices and just like saute it in a pan it's super good if you follow the instructions it makes it like really mushy and not good you know when one eyelash looks like totally different than the other eye what is happening i have like a crap ton of random footage in this vlog that i figured i should probably get up before like two months passes i just filmed two videos i filmed a foundation friday and a updated drugstore makeup starter kit. So I'm pretty sure both of those will probably be up before this vlog goes up. I am so sad to use this last little Nespresso pod because this collection was the best tasting Nespresso. I've heard other people say it, it is true. There was something about this. This is like the French uh, macaroon one. These pods taste so freaking good. I hope Nespresso comes out with this collection again, I will buy five million. Use Isle of Paradise Tanner drops, they say. So yeah, I obviously have to figure out how to wear those, how to use those better, because my face is hella splotchy from those drops. But I sleep on this side of my face and it's like fully rubbed off on this side and then it's like just kind of splotchy in certain areas, which is fine because your face, like it comes off super easy on your face or most self tanners do. So I'm just gonna use like an exfoliator and try and like fully get it off because I'm gonna be wearing foundation today anyways. But I just wanted to show you guys. Okay, I'm just going through packages, but I wanted to show you guys this jewelry that I got from Brian Anthony's. This is so cool. You can choose the hoop size and then you actually get to choose the little charms that you put on the hoop. So I just chose this one called One Day at a Time. I'm trying to flip it. Okay, so those are, I got two of them, so I'm gonna put one on each hoop, obviously. And you just slide them on. It's not so cute, so you can like customize it. And then I got these really pretty earrings that are kind of like, what's the word, like opalescent a little bit or something. And then this 
beautiful little shell ring that I think I'm going to put on this finger. So pretty. Oh yeah, these earrings. So cute. Love a good gold earring. And then this earring, not earring, necklace that I just loved called Worth the Wait. I think I have a 10% off coupon code with them, so I'll put that on the screen right here. I think it's Taylor 10 and that'll give you a discount if you want to check them out. But I have a lot of Brian Anthony's um, rings and earrings and stuff from like their older collections and then this stuff is kind of newer. Okay, I just got back from a run. So I wanted to show you guys what the CeraVe sunscreen looks like mixed in with the drunk elephant like I talked about in that video. So this is after the run, so you still can't see like white cast or anything, but I'm actually going to wipe off. I just have milk brow gel on right now. I'm going to wipe that off because Carrie told me to tint my brows, like my actual brow hairs, so that it darkens them and it like matches the color of the brows. So I got the men, I almost said men try, <laughs> that's a YouTube channel. The men, what's the great, you know, the little, I'll show you. But I need to wash my hair and like do the whole blow dry, straighten everything situation today. So I'm debating just also dyeing it. Then I need to film and then edit the video I'm going to film, clean up. My parents come tomorrow to Seattle, so I just need to do like a major clean. Okay, this is what I got for the brows. I don't know if I got the right one, hopefully, but this is the shade M55 Real Black. I figured they would fade, you know, just from like washing your face and stuff pretty quickly, so I got the black, but it looks like it's kind of like a rich brown light black kind of color hopefully so i just mixed a little bit here it's cool because they come in squeeze two bottles so you just mix the product with the developer and then i'm going to use this to apply it because since i'm doing my eyebrows i feel like that's going to be too big even with that i mix way too much so you really only need to do a tiny tiny bit if you're doing your brows i should have got it before i just realized but they're already darkening which is so exciting those will only leave on for five minutes so i'll show you guys afterwards i might actually just use the extra for my hair like my roots, why not? Okay, <laughs> my brow hairs look like they're getting real dark real fast, so I'm gonna wash this off and get in the shower. I just got out of the shower and I am obsessed. Why am I just now discovering this? I have a feeling it's gonna fade. Like, I think it's a lot of it's on my skin right now. Just like how when you dye your hair for the first time, it like looks kind of darker because it's on your scalp. But I love this. Like, look at how good they look. I'm in love no makeup no brow gel on at all right now i just got back from target because i had to pick up a few more things before my parents get here per their request martini glasses i don't own martini glasses i never drink at my place ever so uh yeah got those for them oh this was cute this was in their spring i don't know it was in a weird section but this is a little plastic um tray for like dip and stuff so i'm gonna put some of the stuff in there for tonight very exciting kitchen bags these ones i haven't tried yet they're the sweet potato crackers but i have tried their beet ones and their beet ones are super good so i got these for tonight carrots also for tonight and then i got this little bowl in case i only wanted to do one little dip thing and i didn't want to have to like fill up three but this one was cute i think this was like three bucks and then last thing they were totally sold out of bleach like liquid bleach so i just got bleach crystals i've never tried these let me know if you guys have, but they were like fully, fully out of bleach. This was the only bleach related item they had left. So that's everything. I also got kombucha and just some snacks that I already ate. Hello. I think I'm gonna shower first. Ooh, if I have time, I want to self tan too. And then I really need to edit a video. I haven't gotten any work done today because I've just been running around trying to get stuff done last minute. I can't remember what the last thing I told you guys about the patio was, but I got the power washer. It turns out that was... <laughs> literally just the power washer handle i think i showed that in the last vlog you need like the actual compressor thing or whatever and i did not buy that so i bought the wrong thing i ended up just amazon one day shipping a nozzle for the hose that was supposed to be like you know intense enough to like get all the crap off so it actually worked but i hired a task rabbit to come and do that this morning so that i could work while they cleaned the patio and they just didn't show up so i ended up having to clean the whole patio which was fine and like the nozzle thing worked good. I just didn't get a video edited because of that. Oh, also I picked up these for tonight because these are so amazing. I feel like I mentioned this on a vlog a long time ago, but I've been getting them ever since and they are incredible. You have to get the habanero one. The other ones aren't as good. Like I've tried the Parmesan ones. They're really gross actually. These ones are so good. They're like peppery and spicy and they're just like black bean chip kind of things. And then also got my mom bottle of wine she likes wow this is heavy decoy and that is that folks 
Also, it's been a day since the brow tint, and wow. And they still look so good. I just was at the chiropractor, hence this. I'm obsessed. Just cleaning up and found this beauty. This was, so Jen did like a, Jen Loves Reviews did like a collab with Candles by Victoria, and any of the candles on her site counted so I picked up this one and it smells so amazing like cinnamony so congrats Jen. Okay so it is Saturday I just got back from the second San Diego trip a couple days ago and I'm about to go get lunch with my friend in a few minutes but I'm kind of running early so I figured I would do a little haul for you guys because I have done let me put you down um I've done some damage recently got some really cute things in San Diego can I sit down and do this Ooh, maybe. I feel like on camera right now my foundation looks super light, but in real life it looks like it matches, so I don't know. But I kind of just have like random stuff from a bunch of different places. I discovered this little boutique in Flower Hill Mall, and it's called Cloth and Arrow, Clothe and Arrow. And they had some super cute stuff. I got these silk banana leaf pajamas. They fit really cute, short sleeve, and then the matching bottoms. I just thought this would be so cute, like on vacation or just for living, you know? And then from that same store, I got this shirt that was actually, I think it was 30 or 40% off. And this is one of those things that I was like, okay, this is either gonna look really cute once it's on, or just like really cheesy because of the gold, but it looked super cute. But it looks super cute. It's like a tie top here, and then it has these really pretty gold stars. And this I picture with like light denim, like ripped light denim and black shoes or like black jeans or even white jeans would look super cute. It fit really good and yeah, I love this. And she was saying that the stuff that she carries is only carried in her stores or something like that. Like you can't find this stuff everywhere. So I thought that was cool. This shirt, by the way, it like ties right here. I got this from Marshalls. TJ Maxx I went to in San Diego with my mom and I just got a couple random things. I'm really into neon again. I go through neon phases. I got two things from Calvin Klein. Actually, I just liked the colors and like the fit. But this like crew neck terry, it's not like warm on the inside, so it'll be good for summer. Crunchy at the bottom. I just love the color. I love a good bright yellow. Actually, any shade of yellow. I love yellow. I feel like yellow with dark hair just looks really cool. But this is like my airport or like weekend kind of shirt, just like baggy. Thin, so it's not like too hot long sleeve and then also from the TJ Maxx in San Diego I got these headphones for $5.99. I just thought these were super cute. They're like a super light tan color This is random. I picked up these straws off of Amazon. I'm gonna link everything I can find down below I'll link these down below. How friggin cute are these? They're like pink striped straws and I think it comes in a set of 12 maybe. I have the metal ones right now, but I don't know, just want something more fun, you know? These were actually a replacement because I ordered these blue light glasses off of Amazon and they sent the wrong ones. They sent black, but I ordered gold, so they sent these. So good customer service. I didn't have to like pay for return shipping or anything. They just sent a new pair. And these are blue light. They're supposed to be blue light glasses. I don't know. They're like 14 bucks or something like that. That's that, just for like being on the computer and stuff. I only picked up a couple things from Sephora. I got their new, what is this? Total Coverage Velvet Sponge. I thought this was cool because the top part is like velvet, but the bottom is a normal sponge. So it's kind of like that sponge I tested, the velvet one. And then I got this Bite Beauty lip gloss. It's in the shade Flat White. I heard someone talk about this and it sounded exactly like what I usually go for, this kind of like light nude. And I have tried it on. It's it's weird. It's not like super pigmented. Like I do like my wet and wild one more. And I almost feel like the color kind of disappears on my lips. I used my points for the first time in like months. This is the Dry Bar Fab Four. I haven't tried a whole lot from Dry Bar. So it comes with the Detox Dry Shampoo, their Triple Sec dry conditioner. They're just travel size too, so I figured they would be good to have. Old Navy was having some kind of major sale. I got all this stuff online for really cheap. The flip-flops, they were doing like their $2 flip-flop sale, and I just got a pair of the kids' black ones. I get the kids' three, four in Old Navy. They're a little bit big, like I probably could have gone with the two, three, but they're just, you know, cheap, good flip-flops to have for the summer. And then this top I think was on sale for $4, and the cut of this is so cute. Like look at this neckline. Ooh, it's cute. This was the only color they had left in stock or else they would have got like the black and I think they had a yellow. And then this swimsuit top, which is so cute. It's like a one shoulder. That's what that looks like. One shoulder, it has a little tie up here. And the Old Navy swimsuits are really good quality. 
I have their one piece in the same material. It's ribbed and it's really thick and it like sucks you in. And then last thing I ordered from Old Navy was these kids sandals. These are the little girls. Actually, I might wear these today. Ooh, that'd be cute. So I think I'm wearing black shorts. I don't have any pants on right now. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? Like I don't put my pants on until the second before I have to leave my house. But yeah, look at the blue. I think these will look really cute. Ooh, fit perfect. And last haul is some Ulta stuff. So the main reason why I went on Ulta was to pick up these two curl products. I'm still on like the major hunt for curly hair stuff. I've been wearing my hair natural like this pretty much every day. I've just add like a couple curls in the front because my front pieces of my hair don't curl. This is like day five hair right now, so not looking the best. But I picked up the Not Your Mother's. This was the one I think people always talk about, the Curl Talk Defining Cream. I think this is like the really popular one. But then I read a lot of good reviews about this one. This is the Weightless Mousse Flexible Hold. I don't mind a crunch actually. Like I don't mind a little bit of a crunch. I feel like it holds my curl better. When I was in San Diego, my mom's Garnier curl spray worked really well, so I might pick that up too. But I've just been like majorly testing the curly hair products because I feel like I'm almost there, but I need like one super good holding curl product, if that makes sense. I picked up this for a foundation Friday. It's the new Benefit Hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation. I got the mini size, which is cool. Oh yeah, I think I was gonna do a first impression on this. It's the Smith & Cole Instant Recall Invisible Powder Setting Spray. Powder Setting Spray, I just thought that sounded interesting, so I'll probably do a video on that. This also sounded interesting, the Catrice Freezing Spray. It's supposed to be like a long wear, fixing, freezing HD spray. Then, we have this cleansing balm. So I recently did a video all about cleansing balms, which I think will be up before this video. If not, it's coming like next week. But this is the Ulta brand cleansing balm. So this one won't be in that video, obviously, because I'm just now starting to test it. But I did want to try it. It has coconut oil in it, so we'll see. And then another thing from the Ulta brand, this is the Pout Perfector Lip Sleeping Mask with Shea Butter and Coconut Oil. Just reminds me of the Laneige. So I wanted to see if it's any kind of dupe for it or if it's similar at all. Mmm, smells really good. It smells like coconut. The Laneige you can get on really good sale on like guest style and stuff, so it's not that expensive if you can find it on sale, which you usually can. And that's that. Yeah, I think that's everything I got. But yeah, I gotta cut the tags off of these guys so I can pop them on. So I'm picking up my friend, then we're gonna go out to lunch, then we'll probably just walk around a little bit. Then we're gonna go meet up with my boyfriend. He has a friend visiting, so I think we're gonna get dinner with them and then possibly go out tonight. I haven't gone out in so long. Like... You guys, a long time. So I am about to go on a walk. It is the next day from when I just filmed the clip in like the striped shirt, the haul. And it's Sunday, we went out last night and I haven't gone out in so long and I am like, woo, feeling it. So I'm just gonna try and go on a long walk, get everything out of my system, you know. I wanted to show you guys what the two hour express tan in the shade medium from Loving Tan looks like. I have it on right now, I have it on my whole body. It doesn't streak, like it is so, let me show you in different lighting. Okay, here it is in other lighting, maybe you can see a little bit better, but it just looks so natural. It's like the perfect tone if you have fair skin. So I will link that down below, but I'm just obsessed. And what I do is I apply it at night, leave it on for two hours, wash it off, and then just get in bed. Then your sheets don't get stained, and then when you wake up in the morning, it's like fully developed and it looks like this. And this is actually day two, and I've already showered twice so it just it lasts so well on my skin too so as i was on my walk i actually ran into this like estate sale and they had some super cute stuff and i got a really cool piece of furniture that i'm probably gonna well not probably gonna i bought it so i'm gonna like reupholster the cushion i'll show you guys when i get home but it's super cute the lady next door just came out and she was like, I almost bought that. But it's like a really cool mid-century thing. It was originally 65 and then I got it half off, so it was 32 bucks. So I was like, either I'll keep it or I'll redo it and then sell it on offer up or something. So I'm gonna head back, shower. I'm doing a little Sunday pamper self-care Sunday, you know, kind of thing right now. I don't even know if they still make this. I got this in PR a long time ago. So you saw on Glass Act, Shine Glaze. So you just put it in damp hair, like I haven't washed my hair yet. You just let it sit in there for 20 minutes and it's supposed to make your hair like super shiny. So trying this, I used about half of it for my whole head so I'll get like one more use out of this. And then on my face I have the Sunday Riley Saturn, it's a sulfur acne treatment mask. 
just because I have some under the skin ones right now, I think from that toner I was using with all the essential oils in it, so I should start feeling it like do a little tingle right now. So hopefully that kind of helps some of those. But then I'm gonna wash my hair, hop in the shower, get ready. My boyfriend and I are gonna go grab some food from the market and then head down to a beach and just like have dinner. Good morning, guys. Didn't vlog yesterday, I had a really bad migraine, like a bad one. I was on all of the painkillers and I still feel like super groggy from it. But I was basically out from 7 a.m. to about 9 p.m. I didn't get to film, so I'm hoping today I can film, but right now I'm just like so, I can like barely keep my eyes open. I'm so groggy from just all the medication, but let me put you down. Mm. Mm. Normally, I don't really like getting into like specifics of health issues, but I have this thing that's been happening for years that my neurologist, chiropractor, and a uh, massage therapist person can't figure out so I just want to see if any of you guys experience this or if you're a doctor and you have any other insight because I've tried like googling it researching it and no one knows what they are but basically when my neck flares up I get these basically like they're super hard they're like this big and they go all over like I can feel them right now they go like all over my neck and they're like rocks like they they don't really like dissolve or anything it's not a knot it's super weird my chiropractor thought it might have been calcification so we did an x-ray and it's not that so his best guess was that something is like it's like an inflammatory response to something happening but I got like my white blood cells and everything tested and there was like nothing not normal there so basically they just like don't know but it happens every i mean it happens every week but it when it gets really bad like it was yesterday i can't get rid of a migraine when it comes on because it like connects like it goes up my nerve and then behind my eye so if there's like these massive things on all the nerves on my neck then it just like stays in my head and none of the painkillers or anything work and when they flare up like bad it's um really hard to get rid of them so let me know if any of you guys have experienced that i'm talking like it literally feels like a giant circle rock and it's not just on like my lymph node area i know some people will say it's a lymph node thing it's not that's like up here and this goes it goes all over like i can feel them in my shoulder and stuff sometimes too so i don't know i just if any of you guys have experienced that or have any ideas let me know because all three of my doctors have no idea which is always fun but anyways let's drink some coffee i have a deadline for a video that i need to get done this week at some point so fingers crossed so update on the saturn sunday rally mask i feel like it didn't really do anything i don't know maybe i just have to use it a couple more times but i think i like the origins five it's, it's like the 10 minute or five minutes like the white one this guy I think works a little bit better out of trouble. I ran out of my CeraVe micellar water that I kind of use as like a toner. So I've just been kind of like playing around with these since I had them. This is the vitamin C juice cleanser from Pixie. So far I like this one. It has a really nice top too. It's like the push top like that. That just makes it really easy to dispense. And then also I've used this a couple times. I honestly can't stand the smell though. So I'm probably gonna donate this, but it's the What A Melon from Bliss. It has like hyaluronic acid and some other stuff in it, will bark with hazel. So I've been testing that. So I've used that a couple times, just not crazy about the scent. I'm not into like fruity scents in my skincare. These I've been using, you guys will see these in the, my next MDs video, but these are really good. I keep hearing about these from Kathleen Lights and I do like them. They're like a little bit more dry than the Neutrogena ones, but they do take off everything really well. I got these in PR a while ago, so I'm not sure if I would like go out of my way to purchase them. And I'm, I don't really use that many wipes anymore. I kind of just use the ones I have because I really like cleansing oils and cleansing balms, but these are really nice and they remove eye makeup and everything super well. But I wanted to show you the thing that I think is breaking me out that is now behind here because I'm not using it anymore. This is what I think did it. This is the Yonka. It's supposed to be like a dry skin toner and I looked again on Durham store and I googled it to see if anyone else was getting breakouts from this and it has really good reviews. No one's talking about breakouts, but I'm getting like major under the skin breakouts on my forehead and this is like the main thing that I think would cause it because it just 
it's super scented first of all i think because of the essential oils in here but i just think there's something in this that doesn't agree with my skin and i like vaguely remember trying this like a year ago and thinking the same thing and i'm pretty sure that's why i had it just like in the back so it's going back in the back goodbye sir why i'm having this weird thing with crows lately <laughs> Like I'll turn and they'll just be like a crow staring at me one landed on my car hood the other day As I was parked in a parking lot like no trees around I thought they were like grabbing food or something on my on the hood of my car and there was nothing there They were just staring at me for like a minute straight. Don't tell me what that means I don't want to know anyways. It just happened to get out the window, but I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here Oh also the Eastlawn blaze thing. I can't really tell if it did anything yet because I haven't like styled my hair This is just left over from that day but i will update you guys in that empties video when the product is in there but i'm gonna wrap up this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed this bonus video if you did you can give this a thumbs up don't forget to check out fabletics down below i'll have them linked you can get the two for 24 leggings deal their leggings are life-changing solar power holds you need them in your life but i'm gonna go try to not look like a piece of poop but i love you guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye